Um, Issa Rae, somebody you work with, mm -hmm. I consider her a superhero. She is. Whenever younger artists ask me how to break into the business, I often tell them, pay attention to what Issa Rae has done yeah, yeah. and what she's doing. Um, I first heard of her when The Diary of Awkward Black Girl came out. I have a bookstore in Kiru Books. Mm -hmm. I was selling a book. Then I uh, went backwards. And so, you know, I don't know when the YouTube, if the YouTube show was before the book or after the book. But um, just tell me about working with Issa Rae and what lessons you've learned from what she's doing. Yeah. I mean, kind of like you were saying, like, you know, if you if you look at how anti-blackness permeates and continues to thrive in these institutions. There's nobody in the dressing room. There's mm -hmm. nobody in the hair. You know, there should be checks and balances everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about the skin color. It's also mm -hmm. about the ideology, right? Because mm -hmm. um, we don't, you know, we know that they're all skin folk ain't can't folk. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And they will often... As we were campaigning against Jackie Lacey, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes. Last year. It's like, you know, and you got Cameron. What's his name? Cameron. Uh, the Over Breonna Taylor's case. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, the Attorney General? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. His ass. I don't ass, remember his name. I you know, know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, you know, some people would call him Coons. Um, but it's it's... It's, <laughs> you know, Are you people? It's just, uh, some people. It's a system. I, I I tend to have empathy for my people, but mm -hmm. I also have to call them what they what it is. I have I mean, to call it what it is. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm quick. I'm a little too quick with that word. But with him, I think it's accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, listen, listen. Sometimes I be sometimes I be too quick. I I t I like to keep. Family conversations, family, mm -hmm. right? And I, I say a bunch of stuff when I know white people are not going to mm -hmm. be involved in the conversation about us. That's right. And I do my best to keep call people in before I call them out. And then every once in a while, you just got it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You're doing so much damage. Yeah. But the truth is, the way the systems operate, they are going to pick who they believe will compromise the most and operate in service of white supremacy, in service of keeping and maintaining their power. Um, they will make sure that we, uh, my, Malaika Jabali, I think she said, uh, she had a tweet or something um, that said, you know, they will appease us. She said, uh, meeting the material needs of black people would up in capitalism. And so mm -hmm. they, uh, appease us with hyper visibility instead, right. right? And so they try to get the people, they seek out the people that they know will not challenge the, their power. Um, and that's how those people end up in those, those situations. Either way, I feel like they slipped up with Issa. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? That's she the point the, I'm she is the to. exception to the rule that proves the rule exists. Yeah, yeah. She is, she, I think she's incredibly effective at building us up, right? Mm -hmm. And what's so impressive about, I talk about this a lot when people ask me about Insecure, but what I think the mo one of the most impressive things about Insecure is, one, it highlights our humanity, the gray, gray areas. We're either, my, my, my lawyer, John Meggs, he's black dude, incredible. Um, he, he'll say we're either portrayed as superhuman or subhuman. Mm. That's how most of, uh, throughout the history of our stories being told. You I know, just called Easter a superhero too. I know, I was thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> but here's but. what's cool about it though. But, but, and <laughs> and some of us, some of us, mm -hmm. Can be seen that way. Right, but right, here's right. the thing about it. And I don't think she she sees herself like that at all. But it's he's like, we're either portrayed as superhuman or subhuman. We're not given that gray mm -hmm. area in between. Mm -hmm. And that's how we've been portrayed throughout the history of white supremacy having control over our narratives, mm -hmm. right? Um, and uh, I love the fact that Insecure is literally, and that's what what the purpose of it was. It, it, she, I think she just posted a clip the other day of what she originally said she wanted it to be, mm -hmm. and that was just us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, you know, we just are who we are, and Everyone all of our insecurities and all, all of our it, yeah, right? all of it. We are, there's this gray area that we exist in, the and freedom to be 
wrong, the freedom to be a mess, the freedom to be insecure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the people, it travels very behind human. the scenes. Yeah. There is not, it's not like, um, while I think everybody is extraordinary on this show, um, mm-hmm. behind the scenes, I think they're all really dope people, but they're, they're, they're really us. They're mm-hmm. just like us existing in our genius, right? Mm-hmm. Existing in who we are and who we have to be. Um, and they're black people from all walks of life behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. People who are formerly incarcerated, Mm -hmm. people who don't have the education that you necessarily, the white supremacist institutions make us think that we need in Mm -hmm. order to achieve success, right? Mm -hmm. There's people who are queer, black, you know, whatever, different shades, different walks of life. Um, And not only does she do it with who she hires, but then she invests in the community. She looks at black designers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Black everybody, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and that has been a very unique experience that yeah. inspired me to say, it's not necessarily a show about activism, mm-hmm. but it is an activist project. I love that when she said, I'm rooting for everybody black, and you go on the set of Insecure, and it's literally everybody black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that. Um, I love the after effect. I was... In a hotel room the other day, and I was like gonna put on some. I didn't feel like like looking at the shows on my computer. I was like, I'm just gonna put on HBO. The H- HBO in the hotel. I'm just gonna watch whatever's on HBO until mm-hmm. I fall asleep. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't fall asleep yeah. because it was all this programming that was obviously inspired by Issa Rae. It mm-hmm. was like Insecure, and then there was a co- commercial for uh, uh, Sam J show. Mm-hmm. Right, and then yeah. it was um, Black Ladies Catch Show. Black Ladies Catch B- Show. Black Ladies Catch Show, and then it was a, uh, which I watched that episode of Black Ladies Catch Show, and then it was this show, I don't know the name of, but about black skateboarders in Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. It was a commercial for that, mm-hmm. and I'm like, wait a second, four shows that center around black women, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. and you know what? It can't just be Issa. It has to be the whole environment of what this movement has created. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to know that she's in a position at HBO to be influential and I see the direct yes. influence immediately, it was it was healthy for me. Yeah, yeah. She's got, I mean, you got Denise Davis and Prentice Penny and like all these incredible folks behind the scenes. Amy Aniobi, Natasha Rothwell. The culture has been revolutionary. Yeah. Um Not only considering, it's what I was just talking about, it's just not only considering who you're hiring, but the impact that you're having on the community at large. Because you could easily say, you know, so many people in L.A. are like, I'm not going to go south of the 10. You know Mm. know what I'm saying? It's like, she's there in Inglewood. They are in our, you know, Ladera. They're in wherever they have to be in the jungles, like making sure that that people are humanized, mm-hmm. that it's, you know, it's just who we are. And they are paying people what they should be paying them, right? They're making sure that we utilize and support the businesses that are mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. Uh, that have been there for a long time, SOM Books, you know, ce- celebrating fo- folks, That's right? right there. Um, so it goes far beyond because she has so much love for her community and where she grew up, right, and her people. Um it goes far beyond just the impact that she's directly having on the people that work on the project. No doubt. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knock it, then young nigga move that dough. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow roll with it. What's the world with it?